Welcome everybody to the Battle at the Beach here in uh, Ocean City. I'm Harry Sachs along with uh, Deshaun Hendricks. Going to bring you this first game between Wayne Valley from up north driving down here to play uh, Del Ran in a, uh, a matchup of two New Jersey teams. We had some uh, teams yesterday from out of state. You know, today we're all in state here. So and tell me what you got over there. Well, uh, yesterday, uh, games, just running them down, Mainland defeated EHT 37-0 to <laughs> uh, in a game that was dominated early by the Mustangs. Uh, Salem uh, beat Cedar Grove 53-13. to uh, Downing Township 48 to High Highland 12. And uh, Nice Siami 21 to Ocean City 0, who was hosting the event here at Battle at the Beach. So... Not a lot of close games yesterday, Harry. Yeah, no. I, actually, I had the Downingtown uh, game there, and Highland uh, broke out and scored the first touchdown. And then uh, it was uh, curtains after that. They just dominated the whole game. Okay. <laughs> so uh, just, fo just to say, following our game uh, here between Del Rand and Wayne Valley, we're going to have Washington Township uh, taking on Trenton. You have the Prep taking on St. Peter's and also Rebin Catholic taking on SJ Vienne. Uh, that's all following our game here today between Del Rand and Wayne Valley and Harry. It's great for football again, man. Oh, yeah, it's great. And, you know, Del Rand, you've got uh, return of head coach in Frank Holmes, who uh, spent 10 years, you know, coaching not Del Rand. Last three years he's been, uh, you know, with Del Rand. He was at Holy Cross before. And, uh, like he had said to the, you know, Courier Post article I read that he was uh, an assistant, happy being an assistant at Del Rand, had no, uh, no looking at other jobs or anything like that, figured he'd still stay at El Del Rand as the assistant. Then when the other coach left to take the uh, job at uh, Rancocas Valley, they asked him to take it, you know, and he said he had a big talk with his wife and everything like that. And he said, I would never have taken another head coaching job if it wasn't here at Del Ran. He said, I was, I was at Del Ran for 30 years as a teacher. My son graduated here. And he said, I just thought it was the right thing to do for the kids to have somebody that they knew. All right. And to take over. So Del Ran was six and three last season. They lost its running back, Zach Palmer Smith. Uh, but Derek Namon returns, and he threw for 819 yards and nine touchdowns last year. Wayne Valley was 3-7 and seven last year, but they returned their captain, quarterback Alex Schupline, and Danny Smith, both who led the team in rushing and receiving. Uh, as Harry just talked to, just talked about, Frank Holmes starts his first season at Del Ran as their head coach. He was 63-41 and 41 in 10 seasons at Holy Cross. Roger Courtlats, I hope I'm saying that right, is 47 and 36 in eight years at Wayne Valley. Well, if you believe anything about that convoluted way that they uh, have the power rankings, rankings and everything, you have to be, uh, you have to have a degree in calculus to figure it out, right? But the ironic thing is, both of these teams committed 56.7 in those rankings. So maybe we've got an even you know, game, you know, with that there. So we just had the toying course. Yes, and we are waiting to, to see who gets the football first. Yeah, I'm waiting for the uh, signal from the referee. <laughs> so uh, the national anthem is coming up. Here we go.
And on a not a happy note, I was all set to uh, talk about Colin Moore from Del Ran. Uh, I had a great story about him. Uh, he was born with uh, you know just one arm, and uh, kid worked his butt off in plain English. Okay, uh, had a prosthesis, rift and weights, jacked up, and everything like that. And he was a starting center. Okay, for Del Ran coming in. I talked to one of the assistants and I asked him about it and said, unfortunately, two days ago, he broke his arm. <sighs> and uh, like, I, I can tell you, I really identify with that crazy story, Sean. About 50, 60 years ago, Pop Warner football, I played with a guy who had one arm. And I'll never forget it. I can't remember what I had for breakfast, but I remember that his name that had the one arm because he just, oh, I was in awe of what he could do with one arm that I couldn't even do with two. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're getting ready for the kickoff here. Wayne Valley set to kick off the Dell Rand. Alex Schupline, number eight for Wayne Valley, looks ready to kick the football off as we are ready to get started here. Wayne Valley versus Del Rand here at the Battle at the Beach in Ocean City. You got Jeremiah Cabrales back there on one side. I'm trying to get the number of the other over there, so maybe you can It'll see be number five, Urza Thomas. All right, ready to, ready to go here. So here we go, the referee giving his signal to shoe line as he is set to kick the football off. And here we go here live from Ocean City. And it looks like Thomas is gonna let the ball Bounce out of the end zone, and here comes the Del Ren Bears starting off their offense. I'll tell you what, the last, yesterday and today, these high school kids are kicking the ball out of the end zone. You know, there's been a, a more emphasis, I think, on developing kickers in your program uh, to make sure that, you know, extra points, and that right there is a weapon, no run back possible. Exactly. Derek Namun, the starting quarterback for the Del Ren Bears, as he will start out in a shotgun set. Number seven, Jimmy Rush to his left. Namun takes the snap, hands it off to number seven, Jimmy Rush, who is swallowed up pretty quickly. The tackle made by number 14, Adam Okun. And number 62 there on the edge, you know, tried to get around him. Uh, just a straight hand off, you know, nothing fancy to start the game, but you know, gives a Del Ram uh, lineman for not letting him get to that corner, getting any space to run. So now Moon, a senior quarterback, 5'11", 190 pounds, uh, the starting QB for the Del Ram Bears. Number seven in the backfield with him, Jimmy Rush, again to his right two receivers. Now Moon, straight drop back, looks, throws a little short pass. It is caught by number 12, Ryan Clark, but he is tackled right at the sticks. Again, looks like number 50 for Wayne Valley. Right. I'll tell you what, he had plenty of time there to show him to pick out a receiver, and nobody was really open. And, you know, he got it to his back there, and uh, good defense again by Del Ran. So third and five coming up, and again, you have a senior quarterback, so you trust him with your entire playbook. Inter interesting to see what play they dial up here. So here we go. Now Moon in the shotgun, two receivers, Thomas to his left, number 21, Kami Yalams to his right. Thomas in motion, straight drop back, quick throw, caught by number one Yalmiz, but he is tackled right away by number 50, Ian Harmon of Wayne Valley. I mean, they're giving him uh, time to complete these passes, but I can tell you right now, fundamentally, I like the way Del Ran is uh, wrapping their arms, making sure nobody's going to get any extra yards on them. So now we're going to come up with a uh, punt formation here, Deshaun. So the punt will be by Camille Yelmas, number 21. Deep to return the punt, it looks like. I wish he turned. There you go, number eight. Number eight, the starting quarterback for Wayne Valley, Alex Schuplein. So a timeout is taken. And you got Jordan Silver, you know, back there ready to get the punt for them. Not a great start, all right, if you're Wayne Valley. Maybe they got to knock off the rust a little bit from that uh, long drive that they had down here. In fact, they, uh, I guess they didn't stay overnight or anything, you know, that. Give me some time here. 
Johnson's Popcorn is known all over the Delaware Valley, specializing in delicious caramel corn. They are open all year at 1368 Boardwalk in Ocean City. Phone 1-800-842-2676 or go online at Johnson's Popcorn to place your order. Johnson's Popcorn since 1940. So Yo Maz will pump the football back to receive it as Danny Smith for Wayne Valley. Yo Maz takes the punt. Straight line. Oh, it's an ugly punt. And it looks like it'll be down right there. Yeah, going to have a really good field position for uh, Del Ran. I think the referee missed a block in the back yeah, there. Yeah, it was so. clear block in the back. <laughs> so Wayne Valley will take over on offense, and we just talked about their captain, their quarterback, Alex Schupline, who is a 5'11", 170-pound quarterback. He returns from last season, led their team along with Smith in rushing, that dynamic duo, and they see we, we can see if they get – and they uh, did call the penalty. Okay, uh, so the penalty was called, and I, it will move back Wayne Valley. Yeah, I didn't see any uh, yellow out there no. you know, at all, but they got it right. So it was, first and 10. Looks like the ball is on the 37, 36-yard line. Shoe plan is shotgun. He will keep the football, throw it to number 24, Denny Vitez, who is up the sideline and gets bumped out of bounds by number two, Zachary Miron. Just a little swing pass out there. You know, they faked the run, and he threw it out there. He had some blockers. Well, here, right here, you see Schuplein fake the little option, throw a little swing pass to number 24, Denny Vitez, who just uses his speed to get up the sideline. So here they are, Schuplein, a little toss. Looks like to Smith. Smith up the sideline. Oh, looks like he gets a couple yards there. He lost his footing. But again, Wayne Valley on the move. Yeah, nice tackle there by number seven for uh, Wayne Valley, Justin Modestein. And they're right back in the line of scrimmage. Shoot, plying in the shotgun. And it yeah. looks like they were a little too quick. It looked like it might be a false start penalty. Yeah, they went to the hurry-up offense there, but they uh, hurried up themselves too much and uh, drew the flag there. So instead of... Second catching uh, yeah. Valley offsides, you know, they paid this price, and they're going to go back five yards. So instead of second and six, it'll be second and 11. 9-18 left to go in the first quarter. Dell ran Wayne Valley. Wayne Valley looking to put this ball in the end zone. Here we go. Shoe plying his shotgun. Two receivers to his left. Del Rand's got it. Del, Del Rand's got it, you said. Shoe plying the shotgun. Looking over that sideline there. Looking for the play. Taking a long time to get the play in for this. They Looks might like have the to Chip burn Kelly Eagles out. of old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Shoot ply. He's looking. He's in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Hands off to Smith. Smith. Looks like he'll get a couple yards. Still on his feet. Still fighting for extra yards. Oh, he's moving like a bull there. And it looks like he's going to get most of that penalty yardage back, if not almost all of it. I thought that play was dead, you know, 10 seconds ago, all right? But, you know, nobody blew the whistle, and he just kept churning there for some extra yards. So you see right here, Stanny Smith just moving his legs and continuing to fight for yardage until he gets close to a first down. Third and four coming up for Wayne Valley. Shoe plying his shotgun. Hard count. Looks back at the sideline, number 26 in the backfield with him, R.J. Ola. Single receiver to his right. Shoe line. Takes the snap, rolls out. It's a straight quarterback run to his left. Shoe line uses his speed. He's going to get a first down and more. What a play by the explosive quarterback, Alex Shoe line. And I'll tell you what, the only thing that stopped him on that was the sideline. All right. Nice little fake inside. Freeze the linebacker a little bit. Alex Schuplein using his speed. And you knew the quarterback run game was going to come into effect with Wayne Valley. He was one of their leaders in rushing last season. So it looks like Schuplein, uh, it looks like a little wildcat here with number 15, Brandon Bowman. He's in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right. One to the left. They're looking at the sideline for the play. And it's funny, they set up, then they freeze it and go to the sideline. So, again, 15 in the shotgun. Brady Bowman 
Looks like a straight snap to him and a it looked like essence of a Tim Tebow type of play. He just <laughs> takes a snap right up the middle for a couple yards. Yeah, you know, you called it right there. He didn't really get that much. I don't know why they changed uh, quarterback because uh, – Shoot them. line was <laughs> – I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get a little too cute in the red zone. But, again, looks like a gain of about four, second and six coming up for Wayne Valley. Yeah, and you know they're in uh, four down uh, territory here. So here we go. Shoe Pline back in the game at quarterback in the shotgun formation. Smith in the backfield with him. Two receivers to his left, two receivers to his right. Shoe Pline, man in motion, takes the snap, rolls out to his right, stops, runs the football, uses that speed again. And again, Alex Shoe Pline making something out of nothing. Looks like it's close to a first down. I'll tell you what, he has unbelievable calmness back there, you know, in the pocket. Uh, you know, just lime in the coming all over from uh, there and he just uh, has shown a lot of poise and then he picked the hole because there was nobody open for the reception and he picks up now we got a third down and about maybe one and a half Alex Shupline a senior quarterback himself and proving why he has total command of this offense on this first drive he's under center now Shupline will hand it straight off to Danny Smith who was swallowed up by number 21 Camille Yilmaz right away yeah you know nothing nothing there now you got an interesting call here we'll see if they got a kicker didn't get the first down so you got a four and about one to go so they're going to go for the field goal fourth and one so interesting call here shoe plines going back into the huddle Sean, I don't have to ask what you do because I know you're going for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fourth and anything less than two i'm going for yeah it. that's it I, I know your <laughs> mo there so here we go shoe pline under center well, they try for a hard count. No, Shupline keeps it. It's going to be close. The officials have yet to make a call. Well. We're waiting for the call. They, they say it's the first down. Uh, Wayne Valley. Yeah, they were saying, hey, you know, we got the ball. We got the fumble here. Here's the replay, Here's the replay coming up. Shupline takes the snap. Looks like the ball does come loose late. He tried to extend it, but I don't know. So, so far, the, the offense for Wayne Valley was on the football field, so they signaled first down the referees, but now a timeout on the field. Del Rand calls timeout. It is first and goal for Wayne Valley. 5.22 left in the first quarter. Shoppies is even better online. You may know their showroom at 1031 Shore Road in Linwood, but you can order whatever you need at shoppy.com. Remember, you are not presenting the best trophy if it's not a shoppy trophy. Phone 609-653-1684. Shoppy since 1921, starting a new century. So here we go. First and goal for Wayne Valley. They have driven the football from just at the 36 all the way down. Sure, True Value Hardware in Summers Point hopes that you will continue to shop locally. They offer friendly service and expert advice. And here we go again. <laughs> here we go, first and goal. Shoe Pline is under center. Smith in the backfield. I-4 formation, they're trying to quarterback sneak again. The extra push and it is a touchdown for Wayne Valley. Alex Shoe Pline on the quarterback sneak. I'll tell you what, he didn't get that by much, Sean. That extra push by the fullback really helped him. And uh, you see it right here on the replay. I-4 formation, Shulpline gets that extra push by his fullback to get into the end zone. And it is 6-0 here for Wayne Valley. All right, you got number eight trying for the extra point Shoe here. Pline, yep. the quarterback will kick the extra point. So here we go. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 7 nothing, Wayne Valley. All right. Well, they took it down there, Sean, and they got it. Sure, True Value Hardware in Summers Plain hopes that you will continue to shop locally. They offer friendly service and expert advice. At Sure Hardware, they'll, all, they'll do anything to help. They are open weekdays until 7, Saturdays until 6, and Sundays until 4. Help is just around the corner at Shore True Value Hardware, 515 New Road in Summers Point. Phone 609-927-6464 or visit them online at shorehardware.com. 
Calvary Electric. Winning teams know that the key to success, success is getting a job done right the first time. For over 100 years, Calvary Electric has applied that philosophy to their business to offer an unparalleled level of electrical expertise and service to every single customer. Now you can bring Calvary's ex expertise into your home for your electrical problems or improvements, and they can install solar panels that will save you money. Make Calvary Electric a part of your winning team. Call 609-345-0151 or visit calvaryelectric.com. So Shuplon, the do-it-all man for Wayne Valley, is back to kick it off to Del Rand after an impressive drive for the senior quarterback to help Wayne Valley to a 7-0 lead. Here's the kickoff deep, and it'll go into the end zone again. Shuplon can just do it all, man. I, I tell you, I'm looking for him to bring the water out for timeouts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he can pass, he can run, he can kick. I don't know, a little bit of everything. Kids, an all-around football player. Here we go. The ball is at the 20-yard line as Del Rand will try to answer what was an impressive drive from Wayne Valley. Derek Namoon at quarterback, the senior for Del Rand, going into the huddle. And again, the battle of senior quarterbacks. You want to see who has command of their offense early, and it looks like Shoopline was a clear winner in the first drive. Shotgun set for Del Rand. The moon in the shotgun moving number 18. Matt Casanova. Or oh, I'm sorry, Zachary Cobbins to his right. Here we go. Hand off to Cobbins. In the shotgun set. Looks like he didn't get anything there. Yeah, really, really nothing there. You know, nothing there at all. So second and ten coming up for Del Rand as Namoon looking to get the play from the coaching staff. And you want to see Del Rand kind of get an explosive play here early just to stay in it because that long, impressive drive from Wayne Valley looked to take the air out of the Del Rand Bears. Yeah. So here we go. Shotgun set for Namoon. Number 18, Zach Zaire Cobbins in the backfield. Three receivers to the left. And uh, there's a flag on the play. Yeah, I think it was on the right side of the line. I don't know if he jumped or the defender came across. We'll see which way we're going. All right, on the defense. Okay, so there is a penalty on Wayne Valley. Looks like encroachment was the call. Second and seven coming up. So there's a break for Del Rand. Yeah, absolutely, because they didn't get much on that play at all. In fact, so, they lost yardage. Exactly, so the moon is in the shotgun. Three receivers to his left. The moon drops back. Pressure caught by number five, who is on the loose. Uh, he got tackled, but close to a first down. The catch made, Erza Thomas, number five, the sophomore. Kind of a nice vision there, you know. He went all the way from the right, caught the... Here we go. There was a pressure there. Quick catch by Thomas, who turns on his speed, gets close to the sideline, but again... Way to reverse field, third and one coming up for Del Rand. Yeah, that that's not really the thing that you teach how to, you know, in the backfield to, you know, reverse fields, but he made positive out of that. One receiver, I form formation, handoff to the fullback, and uh, it's going to be a close one. I don't know if he got it. Now we have to see when the uh, pile unfolds there. Of course, you have both teams pointing opposite ways, exactly. thinking that they've got it. Waiting for the officials call here. And the official looked like he is signaling the right, first yep. down. Yep, they got it. So first down for Del Rand. They convert. Yeah, they need to keep this drive, you know, rolling here and see if they can answer. So Namoon coming back to the huddle to give them the play. We are still in the first quarter. 3-0-3 left to go. 7 nothing Wayne Valley if you're just joining us. Namoon in shotgun. Two receivers, two his right. Namoon takes the snap. Oh, the ball was juggled by number 19, and the play looked like it was doomed from the start. Matt Avery took the snap and juggled it. Yeah, you can tell maybe some uh, first game uh, jitters there, you know, for them in the backfield there. and they're... So you see right here, Namoon takes it from the shotgun, hands it off. Avery never got it clean. Number 18 for Del Rand. 
and it looked like disaster was avoided by Del Ram, but nonetheless, it is a loss. And they, they, they can't afford that, as we saw, you know, how Wayne Valley just marched down the uh, field. They've got to answer. So that was a sophomore, Zaire Cobbins, who juggled the football. Here we go. Namoon and shotgun again. He's signaling to his receiver in the slot. Number one, Liam Kennedy. Drops back, fakes it. He's looking, he's looking. He rolls out Namoon. He's trying to gain yardage, but looks like he had to slide pretty early and didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. You know, you know, he had lots of time, you know, back there, but it looks like I was looking downfield, and it looks like both the receivers just stopped their route. Well, it looked like it could have been a bubble screen, uh, but but the fake by Namoon, it, no one bit on it. So yeah. at the end of the day, he's got to take that rush. He can't throw the football downfield. But when you're a receiver, when, no when you're a receiver, you know, and your route breaks off, you got to keep doing something. You just yeah. can't stand there. And both exactly. the receivers just froze. They look confused <laughs> if they should block or they should run. Yeah. But the moon made the right decision. Just try to get what you can and, and get down. So now it's a third and 12 for Del Rand. The moon and the shotgun. Two receivers. Two is left. He's looking over there. The moon. And there is a flag. It looks like somebody may have jumped early again. False start yeah. on the offense. That's not going to help you know, at all there. I didn't even see the movement, but well, the receiver kind of switched. See. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is getting a nightmare start for Del Rand. And, you know, it, first game of the season, you're going to have this stuff that, you know, happens. You hope not to have it, but, you know, they're just kids out there. Again, senior quarterback, you hope to get more control. And the moon drops back, throws it deep. He has a man number 21. Oh, he oh. dropped it. He dropped it. Camille Yomas had it in his hands for a big play. I'll a tell great you throw what, by the moon. He dropped it. You couldn't throw that ball any better than that. You hit him right in the bread basket. Yomas had a step on his man. That was a good play by number 12, uh, Casillas Rivers. And I'll tell you what, you got to give props to that offensive line there because that, that was a long play. They gave him plenty of time back there. So Del ran a big missed opportunity. Uh, again, a great play by the DB, but Yilmaz had it in his hands. You got to catch that. Yeah, you got to catch that <laughs> football. You're not going to get many like that. Now they're in a punting situation. So Yilmaz will punt the football to number nine, Danny Smith. Terrible punts. Smith goes up. Did it touch anyone? Oh, confusion. And Del ran is saying they have the football. An ugly punt, and Del Rand does have it. Wow. Change of events. Well, you know what happens. You can hear them yelling, poison, poison, poison. And as you and I know, when that, that comes down. Here we go. Smith went up, and it looks like it hits the back of a Wayne Valley player. And that's all it needs to just touch someone on the other team, and then it becomes a free football. Yeah, because when they yell poison like that, it's, hey, guys, get the heck away from the ball. Exactly. All right? And I guess they didn't know where the ball was, and the ball hit him in the back. So a great break there for Del Ran. Couldn't ask for anything better than that to happen on that punt. So here we go. Del Ran with the football. The ball looks like it's on the 41-yard line. See if they can capitalize. Here we go. Namoon in the shotgun. Man in motion is Smith. He hands it off. Number five, Urza Thomas. Flag on the play. Takes it laterally. Not anywhere, but as Harry just alluded to, a flag on the play. Yeah, it's going to be against Del Wren. So, again, Del Wren shooting itself in the foot. With penalties. Yeah, I mean, they had a great break there, you know, by getting that ball back on the punt there. And now they have another negative play. So Urza Thomas, number five, took the football close to the sideline. I didn't get anything, but it doesn't matter. The penalty brings him back. Yeah, look, you're talking about first and 20. You've had a difficulty moving the ball anyway. Now you've shot yourself in that foot again. So 27 seconds left in the first quarter. First and 20 for the Delran Bears. Urza Thomas is the receiver to the right of Namoon. In the shotgun set, Thomas in motion. Here we go. Hand off to number seven, Justin Modston. Oh, I'm sorry. Jimmy Rush for Delran. And you got Ian Hammond, you know, right there to meet him and drop him for, you know, basically no gain at all. So... Again, Del Ren 
struggling offensively, and that is, looks like to be the end of the first quarter. If you're planning to build a home, make your first step a visit to Holiday Leonard. Holiday Leonard will consult you on your design and assist the development of your custom home. They, big, they build single homes that will fit most any budget, plus condominiums, townhouses, and commercial buildings. Get your ideas together and take them to Halliday Leonard at 700 Haven Avenue in Ocean City. Or phone them at 398-5737. Halliday Leonard will make your dream home a reality. Gillian's Wonderland Pier. Gillian's Wonderland Pier, 6th and Street and the Boardwalk in Ocean City is a popular summer destination. Gillian's will be open until 10 this weekend and through Labor Day weekend. And they will give you a chance to enjoy their amusement rides every weekend in September. The summer continues through September at Gillian's Wonderland Pier, 6th and the Boardwalk in Ocean City. Visit them online at Gillian's.com. Evesian Morgan. Mortgage. Houston Mortgage is your hometown leader committed to finding you the right mortgage. mortgage boy, yeah, I'm having trouble with a mortgage. It's money. <laughs> I can't handle the money. All right, product for your needs. Houston Mortgage offers a full menu of mortgage options because they understand that every borrower is different. With more than 50 years in business, they make your process of securing a mortgage simple and straightforward. Here we go, first and 10, the moon and the shotgun, straight drop back, the moon's looking, looking, fires, low pass, but it's dropped again by Yilmaz, and that is his second drop of this game, and, and he's having a rough game. Deshaun, he's having a rough game, nobody around him, perfect pass. Well, I wouldn't say it was a perfect, it was a, it was a low football, but again, if it hits you in the hands, pressure was on the moon. But he delivered the football in a place where Yomas has to make that catch. Uh, it, it's tough. It was tough. And he also, if he catches it, he had room to run. Exactly. Could have been a big play. But, uh, again, it was a low throw. Trips to the left of Namoon. One running back in the backfield with him. Namoon drops back. Looks. Looks. Pressure. Deep throw. No one there but the defense. He was looking <laughs> again for Yomas. But, again, pressure off the edge by Wayne Valley. I'll tell you one thing, though, we, we did learn about that play. He has a strong arm. Yes. All right. That ball traveled about 50 yards in the air, but nobody out there to catch it. So you're seeing the difference here with the two quarterbacks. It looks like Shupline is more mobile and willing to run when things don't look its way. The moon is, it, it was sitting more in the pocket. Yomas to punt the football to Smith. Let's see if there's an adventure here for Wayne Valley or we can clear – Get the punt off. It's blocked. It's blocked. The punt is blocked by Wayne Valley. The football is loose. And now oh, just a disaster for Dale Ran as the football was blocked on the punt. And Yomaz's nightmare start to this game continues. Uh, I'll tell you, boy, that's a, that's a tough one there. Just took a little bit too much time, you know, to get that punt off. And now they're going to give uh, Wayne Valley great. Field position. So Shupline trots back on the field for Wayne Valley in perfect, perfect opportunity to extend this lead for Wayne Valley as the ball looks like it's on the what is that? The, the 24. 24 yard line? Shotgun set for Shupline. Three receivers to his left, one to his right. Shupline takes a snap. Hands off to Smith. Smith breaking tackles, makes a move, gets outside. Smith up the sideline. There's a flag down, but Smith will get into the end zone. I, but hold on. I don't think it'll count. I think that one's coming back. <laughs> illegal block in the back. So illegal block in the back. Negates a great Negates run Negates a there. great run by Danny Smith. I'll tell you what I liked about him was, you know, picking his way through there, not just going straight ahead, but looking and. So here we go. Straight shotgun snap. Hand off inside zone to Smith, who bounced off, made another juke move. But you see the block in the back right there uh, negates a great run by Danny Smith. So it will move Wayne Valley back. It'll be first. Tell you what, Deshaun, you could tell it's the first game of the year for both of these teams because we've seen a lot, too much yellow out there. First and 15 for Wayne Valley. Shoe in the shotgun with 
Nick Barone in the backfield. Quick throw caught by number seven, Justin Monstein, the junior. Tiptoeing down that sideline there. It looks like he might have enough. Wow. I mean, we really can't the see it there. 16 yards, first down. Yeah, I mean, he, t he tiptoed, tightrope that uh, sideline right there. So we're going to get a timeout now here. Eveson Mortgage is your hometown lender committed to finding you the right mortgage product for your needs. Eveson Mortgage offers a full menu of mortgage options between, because they understand that every borrower is different. With more than 50 years in business, they make the process of securing a mortgage simple and straightforward. Visit EasternMortgage.com or call their trained professionals at 856-985-9944 to lock in your savings. Eastern Mortgage and Plaza 70 on East Route 70 in Marlton, preparing you for generations to come. So. Foundation Title. Our local title insurance and settlement services agency, Foundation Title, is proud to be a sponsor of Cherokee Football. Whether you are purchasing your first home or refinancing, your mortgage foundation title is where you get help every step of the way. All right, we're ready to so roll we're again. Ready here. to go. First and ten. Shoe Pline in the shotgun. Smith back there with him. They're looking to the sideline to get the play. Looks like their receiver number 13, Eric Schupline, is in motion. So here we go. Two receivers to the right of Schupline. Waiting to take the snap. Schupline drops back. Looks. Rushes. Moves. Makes another move. And again, the slithery shiftiness of Alex Schupline helps make something out of nothing. You just see the poise that he has in that pocket there. All right, there, looks like they're going hurry up here, Sean. So here we go, hurry up. Alex Schupline, shotgun snap, takes it straight quarterback power. Oh, he gets tripped up. Looks like he was close. Yeah, it looks like he was close there, but number eight, uh, Jordan Silver, made a nice uh, tackle there to make sure he didn't get into that end zone. So again, second and seven coming up for Wayne Valley as it has been a first half dominated by Wayne Valley. Schupline is in the shotgun with Smith again in the backfield. A receiver to his left, number seven, Justin Monstein. Here we go, straight drop back, throw a little pitch pass to Smith, but it is swallowed up immediately by number 12, Casias Rivers. Ryan Clark, number 12. All right, that's what I got. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right, you're right on wrong. Ryan Clark. <laughs> Want to give it to yeah, the exactly. right guy. Ryan because Clark. I'll tell you what, great tackle there. I like the way he came up, you know, wrapped him and took him right to the ground. So Clark with the tackle, fourth and six coming up. It looks like that shoot line will kick the field goal. Missed opportunity for Wayne Valley little as they started with great field position. Yeah, a little angle here he's got, Sean. Let's see how good he is on this. He's been great and everything else. So here we go, fourth and six. Shoot line, the kick is up. And the oh, kick is good. Yeah. I'll tell you, from here, it didn't look like, you know, it was that. Had enough leg on it, but he just fit it into the left side there. So that's going to give them a 10 nothing lead here at 9-14. Our local title insurance and settlement services agency. Foundation Title is proud to be a sponsor of Cherokee Football. Whether you are purchasing your first home or refinancing your mortgage, Foundation Title is here to help you every step of the way. With an experienced staff of over 180 employees, they are focused on providing customers with excellent service while ensuring timely and accurate transactions. With 12 offices located through the state of New Jersey, you are never far from the expertise of Foundation Title. If you are purchasing a property, be sure to use New Jersey's number one title agency, Foundation Title. Follow them on social media and visit their website, foundationtitle.com. Foundation Title, something to build on. So here we go as Wayne Valley will kick it off to Del Rand. They held a 10-0 lead here in the first half and a half that's been filled with a lot of mistakes by Del Rand, whether it be penalties, missed opportunities, drops, but 
Wayne Valley with a missed opportunity in that last drive to put six or seven on the board. They only get three. So Schuplein will kick it off deep to Delran. Yelmaz back there to return it. Also, Smith, I'm sorry, Thomas back there also with Yelmaz to return for Delran. So here we go, Schuplein to kick it off deep. And it travels. It's going right to Yomaz, who fields the kick. Yomaz running up the right sideline. Yomaz makes a man miss. Yomaz gets to the 40-yard line. So, again, here he is trying to wake up from that slumber and make some plays. I'll tell you what. Number 87, Ray Grabert. I'll tell you what. He saved it. Here we go. Yomaz follows his block, is patient, then turns on the speed right there at the 30. Gets an extra 10 yards. And it was tackled right there by number 87 of Wayne Valley, Christian yeah. Mursado. Ray Graber, that's number 87 there. Got to give that guy credit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so here we go. Hand off to number seven, Jimmy Rush. And he gets to the number, gets to the 36-yard line, it looks like. Uh, being able to uh, hold uh, Valley to that field goal there, you know, it's got to give them a little bit of, you know, pep in their step there. So they got to put something together here. Got a lot of time left in the second quarter. 10 nothing is not an uh, insurmountable lead. There we go. So second and six coming up for Del Rand. I form formation as Namoon is under center. Jimmy Rush in the backfield. Drop back. Namoon is looking, is looking. Oh, he escapes a sack. He just throws it away. And we do have that uh, new rule in high school where you can get away with, you know, dumping the ball like that. And I'll, I'll tell you what, he really saved him on that, Deshaun. So Ian Harmon, number 50 of Wayne Valley, looks like he had the pressure on Namoon. And then you see right there, 14 for Wayne Valley. Adam Akun had Namoon in his grasp, and Namoon kind of just gets the football away at the last minute. Yeah, he, he definitely saved them a big loss there, and, you know, it might have been uh, another time they shot themselves in the foot, but being able to get that ball out of bounds like that Third saved them. Third and six, two receivers to the right of Namoon. He's in the shotgun. Two running backs in the backfield with him. Namoon takes the shotgun snap. Fakes, pumps, looks, pressure again, tries to get out of there, but number one, oh, he escapes it again. The moon's still on his feet, and he is finally tackled by a gang of Wayne Valley defenders. Tell you what, Deshaun, I don't know how he kept running, you know, back and forth there, and uh, couldn't find anybody. But Chris June, number one. Looked like he was shot out of a cannon. Looked like he was going to get in the moon for a loss, but the moon made a miss and tried to just save what was able to from the yardage. And then Wayne Valley corrals him. So Wayne Valley will get the football back. Smith back to receive the punt from Yomaz. Yomaz gets the punt. He punts it straight to Smith, who receives it at the 20. Smith, oh! Skate, broke a tackle there, but is violently brung down by Urza Thomas, number five of Del Ren. Yeah, that, that looked like it was a rodeo tackle there, you know, taking him right down there. So here we go. Johnson's Popcorn is known all over the Delaware Valley, specializing in their delicious caramel corn. They are open all year at 1368 Boardwalk in Ocean City. Phone 1-800-842-2676 or go online at johnsonspopcorn.com to place your order. Johnson's Popcorn, since 1940. So first and 10 coming up for Wayne Valley. Schuplein in the shotgun with Smith in the backfield. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Schuplein takes a snap, drops back, throws, fakes a screen. Schuplein rolls out of the pocket and gets a couple of yards, and again, using his feet to fix a broken play. I'll tell you, he, they're doing a good job defensively with the backs, you know, there with Del Rand, 
because he had nobody to throw to. And, you know, like you said, he just saves it and goes out of bounds, you know, gets a couple yards instead of a loss. Yeah, I mean, what you just said, like, Shupon is looking downfield to try to make a throw, but it's great coverage by Del Rand on the back end. Yeah, absolutely. So three receivers to the right of Shupline, one to the left. He's in the shotgun set with Smith in the backfield with him. Shupline takes the snap, puts it in the stomach of Smith, who breaks a couple tackles all, takes a shot, but gains about maybe four yards. I'll tell you, they played, Del Rand, you know, they played that pass all the way there. Weren't ready for that. So here we go. It looks like it's a third and three, third and three. Shupline in the shotgun. Oh, Shupline on the fake. Shupline bounces off outside. He makes a man miss, and it's another first down for Wayne Valley. I'll tell you what, he just, his poise there, he doesn't get rattled at all. You see a lot of kids at, you know, high school level like that, they get the jitters, they don't know what to do. Not him. Just keeps that vision Shoe open. Shupline in the hurry up. Here we go. Toss to Smith. Smith up the sideline. Gets a couple of yards, if that, no. Maybe a yard or two. Yeah, they tried to catch him, you know. Well, they've been running this hurry up offense yeah, for most of the Yeah, tried to half. catch him again, you know, but really didn't get anything this time. Maybe picked up three yards. So, Shupline has looked, dare I say, Marcus Mariota-like <laughs> from Oregon with his slipperiness yeah. here in this first half. So, here we go. Second and seven coming up. Shupline is in the shotgun. Two receivers to his right. One to his left. Two also to his left. Here we go, hard count, looking over at the sideline. Smith is also in the backfield. Shoepline being patient, looking over at the sideline. Taking an awful long time. Here we go, Shoepline takes a snap, straight drop back. He's looking, throws it deep, and it is caught! What a catch! Number four, Tyler Smith, brung down the pass from Shoepline. You want to go to basketball on that one? All yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he just went up and snagged it with the rebound. You see it right here. Shoepline's patient takes a straight three-step drop, throws it up, and is basically my guy can outjump your guy. That's it. Here we go. We're in the hurry up again. And you know what, Sean? They had good coverage on that. Yeah. And you can't say, take anything away from the defensive back. It's basically a jump ball straight and jump a ball. rebound, and I got it, and uh, – you didn't. Tyler Smith is 5'11", but he looks 6'4 with that catch. And here's Shupline in the shotgun again. And just great. You know, and that takes concentration, you know, on that. You know, you're not going to get rattled. So it, it looks, looks like we're going to have a timeout here on that. Shoppies is even better online. You may know their showroom at 1031 Shore Road in Linwood, but you can order whatever you need at shoppy.com. Remember, you are not presenting the best trophy if it's not a Shopee trophy. Phone 609-653-1684. Shoppies since 1921, starting a new century. Sure, True Value Hardware. Sure, True Value Hardware in Summers Point hopes that you will continue to shop locally. They offer friendly service and expert advice. At Sure Hardware, they'll do anything to help. They are open weekdays until 7, Saturdays until 6, and Sundays until 4. Help is just around the corner at Sure True Value Hardware, 515 New Road in Summers Point. Phone 609-927-6464 or visit them online at surehardware.com. So, one timeout left each for Wayne Valley and Del Rand. 4.44 left to go in the second quarter as Wayne Valley is driving. Shoepline in shotgun with Smith to his right. Two receivers on each side. Shoepline drops back. Quick throw. Oh, I don't know who he was throwing to, but that was a dangerous pass as Jimmy Rush from Del Rand looked like he could have had a chance at interception. I'll tell you what. There, it must have been a little uh, screw up on that because that was a timing pattern. You know, he was throwing not to the man. He was throwing to the spot, but there was nobody at the spot. So Wayne Valley avoids a disaster because there was no one in front of Smith had he caught that interception. Uh, yeah, he was gone. So here we go. Shoepline in the shotgun. Smith in the backfield, hands it off inside to Smith, inside zone, and it looks like a first down run for Danny Smith. Well, we'll see if they give it to him there. 
Uh, the spot says no. Well, gain of eight. It's two yards short. Hurry up again. Here we go. Inside zone. Oh, he keeps it. Throws it. A quick little pass to number 24. I love that Brandon play there. Kindler. Love that play there. They just froze the defense on that one. Looked like a run, then a pass. They froze the defensive back, and they got enough to take a, uh, get a first down there. Well, when you have a mobile quarterback and you fake that inside zone, and yeah. he's on the edge, now you have to account for him running the football so it freezes the whole <laughs> defense. Yeah. And like you said, a defensive end, he's got to stay home. So here we go, first and ten. Shoepline in the shotgun again with Smith back there. Shoepline straight drop back, rolls out, throws it deep, and it is almost intercepted by Yilmaz as, again, it looked like a fade route, but number four, Tyler Smith, didn't fade. And he had, uh, he had two guys within five yards of each other, so I don't think that pattern maybe was run, you know, correctly. You don't want to have receivers that close on a, on a pass play. So second and ten coming up for Wayne Valley. As their offense in the red zone has struggled. In yeah, this first and they've got to, you know, if they can capitalize and put this game in. Uh, Here we go. Fake the inside zone again. Quick throw to number seven, Justin Maltzstein. All right, and you got number 80 there. He just, you know, came in. Number 80, Austin Austin. Yeah. For Del Rand making the tackle. Stopped him right there. So, you know, I'll tell you what. Del Ran is uh, putting together a nice little defense, you know, here on this, trying to keep them well, the out of the zone. the defense has been great. Yeah. It's just been uh, between the 20s. It's been the problem. Right. So third and 11 coming up for Wayne Valley. Again, 10 nothing. They have pretty much controlled this first half. Looking for more points before the half. Shoepline is in the shotgun with Smith in the backfield. Single receiver, Shoepline, straight quarterback keep, and he makes a man miss. Shoepline turns on the speed, but doesn't get the first down. No, you know, not at all. So it looks like they're going to bring out the field goal team there, try to get Shoepline another uh, shot to put three on the board. So, again, Shoepline is accounted for all the scoring yeah. in the first half of Wayne Valley. He's also the kicker for Wayne Valley, as uh, he also has a touchdown on the quarterback sneak and the field goal. So again, the red zone offense stalls for Wayne Valley. Good defense by Del Ran. A shoe line will attempt. Yeah, that, the was field a, goal. that was a big series for them. You know, hopefully they can uh, only give them three or hold them to none. So fourth and nine coming up. Field goal attempt for Wayne Valley. Waiting for the snap is shoe line. There is the snap. And it looks like a whistle. Penalty is. Flag is thrown. Yeah, they, they threw a uh, penalty, you know, flag there before the kick, which really was no good anyway. So they get another shot. Encroachment on the defense. Still ran game early. So still fourth down, only a five-yard penalty. Interesting to see what they will do now, though. Will they try to run a play on fourth and four? Well, hey. He got a 10-point, you know, lead here. Well, you know what I would do. Yeah, I, I gamble, too. <laughs> you know, I'm going for it. So it looks like they are going to go for it. As Shuplein is coming to the huddle, we just got a play from the coach. I'd imagine that they're going to run a play. You wouldn't be going to tell him, hey, just kick a field goal. Yeah, yeah, no, not not at all. They wouldn't do that. So here we go. Shotgun set with Smith in the backfield with Shuplein. Two receivers to his left, two to his right. Shuplein surveys the defense. Man in motion. Shuplein takes a snap. Rolls out, rolls out, looks, throws it back, and it is caught by number seven. No, no. They're, he's waving them off. Referee's waving them off, but it looks like Jimmy Rush caught the football. Or did he trap it? I'll tell you what. You got to get the referee. He was right there. He was like within three. So here's the replay. The ball was a little underthrown. Rush, uh, it's tough to see. It's tough to see. His helmet hit the ground. It, it, it could go either way. But the official ruled that it was an incomplete pass. Del Ran, you know, definitely dodges a bullet there, you know, on that. And, and, and those plays are tough because when the receiver kind of shields the football with his face, you don't know if underneath him that he's trying to gain control of it. Well, you got to give the official credit because he was right there on the play. Uh, you know, he was within three yards of that, you know, pass. So... Kudos to him for being right there and making, I guess, the right call. So we have another timeout on the play. 
Wayne Valley calls timeout. Yeah, that's surprising. So that was their last time out of the half. Winning teams know that the key to success is getting the job done right the first time. For over 100 years, Calvary Electric has applied that philosophy to their business to offer an unparalleled level of electrical expertise and service to every single customer. Now you can bring Calvary's expertise into your home for your electrical problems or improvements, and they can install solar panels that will save you money. Make Calvary Electric a part of your winning team. Call 609-345-0151 or visit calvielectric.com. So a minute 55 left to go in the half. Minute 55 left to go in the half. First and 10 for Delran. Now what do you do, Sean? Are you happy to go in 10 nothing, or are you going to try something here? Well, with a senior quarterback, you would hope he can run the two-minute drill and get you some points. So here we go, handoff inside to number seven, Jimmy Rush, and he doesn't really get anything. No, you know, not at all. You know, but that was a big series where they held them, you know, to no points at all, and if they go in at halftime with 10 nothing, with the half that all the mistakes they've made, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. Well, you got to remember that Wayne Valley is going to get the football to start the right. second half. But, again, what I just said, if you have a senior quarterback, you would hope he can drive you at least to midfield uh, in this situation. You don't want to just give the ball back to Wayne Valley. Second and seven. Namoon is in the shotgun. Smith back there also with him. Namoon, quick throw to Thomas. Thomas tries to use the speed and get away, but the defense was there, and it looks like he only gave him a yard or two. Yeah, and no, no problem there. They had that you know very well covered. Goes for no gain. Looks like I'm uh, going to get a timeout here, Deshaun, for Del Rand. If you're planning to build a home, make your first step a visit to Halliday Leonard. Halliday Leonard will consult you on your design and assist the development of your custom home. They build single homes that will fit most any budget, plus condominiums, townhouses, and commercial buildings. Get your ideas together and take them to Holiday Leonard at 700 Haven Avenue in Ocean City. Or phone them at 398-5737. Halliday Leonard will help you make your dream home a reality. Gillian's Wonderland Pier. Gillian's Wonderland Pier, 6th Street, and the Boardwalk in Ocean City is a popular summer destination. Gillian's will be open until 10 this weekend and through Labor Day weekend. And they will give you a chance to enjoy their amusement rides every weekend. Their con summer continues to September at Gillian's Wonderland Pier, 6th and the Boardwalk in Ocean City. Visit them online at Gillian's.com. Third and six, the moon and the shotgun. Big third down for Del Rand. The moon drops back, fakes, fakes, pressure, and it is dropped by number three, Mike Mullen, on the slant route. Deshaun, if he catches that, all right, he had green all the way ahead of him if he catches that ball. As you see, the moon does a great job of standing in the pocket with pressure, fakes the throw, throws a good ball, and Mike Mullen just dropped it. He's a freshman receiver, and those things happen. Hey, I'll tell you, and if he catches that ball, we might be talking about a 10 momentum six. shift. Yeah. yeah. So Yomaz will pump the football back to Danny Smith. Yomaz, line drive, punt. Smith catches it cleanly at midfield. Smith makes a move. Smith, he looks like he can go. But he will get swallowed up right there. It looks like at the 35, there's flag on the play. Flag, you know, on the play. I guess he didn't play to the whistle there. What a great run back. All right, just straight up. Well, that line drive right there to yeah. Smith. And you can see he's patient but shifty with his feet. And yeah. uh, he can make it in and out of his cuts very quickly. Yeah, absolutely there. Waiting to see what the penalty Waiting is. Waiting to see what the penalty is. So it's a long, like, long time to figure this one out. Yeah, it looks like it was an offsides or an encroachment. Is that the call? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see any signals yet. They just, you know, put the ball down. I don't know. Maybe they picked it up, Sean. Well, here we go. First and 10 for Wayne Valley. It's 46 seconds. Again, 
They're getting closer to the red zone where they have struggled. Here we go. Shoopline. Hard snap. Looks over at the sideline. Three receivers to the right of Shoopline. One to his left. Running back Smith back there in the shotgun set. Shoopline. Takes a snap. Drops back. He's looking, throws it, and oh my! <laughs> yeah, Danny Smith wide open for a touchdown, but it looks like number 20 for Del Ran. John Kingsmore just got a little bit of a finger on it to disrupt the play. Actually, that was number five, I think, if we see that on the replay, Sean. So here we go, Shuplon drop back, little swing route to the running back, and you're right, it was five, oh, six. It was number six, Leo Dutra. And they got a hand on didn't, it. Didn't see him there. So here we go. Shoopline in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Straight drop back. Shoopline throws it. Smith catches it in the flat. Makes a move. Gets to the middle of the field. Still on his feet. And he is driving and it is tackled right there. They're going to have to hurry up. They don't have any timeouts. Right. Beautiful cutback on that. Beautiful cutback. So they're trying to hurry it up. The clock is running. It's a first down. And it looks like they'll just spike it here. Yeah. Smart move. Yeah, they don't have any timeouts, and now they've got a chance now to maybe put some more points on the board. Well, their bugaboo has been the red zone. Delran has been very effective stopping Wayne Valley in the red zone. Uh, and I hate to say it again, but it's essence of Chip Kelly's Eagles back yeah. in the day. When they could move 20-20, to 20, they couldn't score in the red zone. All right, what are they doing here? Is there a timeout? Is there a penalty? Well, they're trying to issue the clock. They're trying to fix the clock. So it'll be second and goal. Remember, the first and goal play was a spike by Shoopline. Right. So they're trying to figure out the clock situation. Yeah, I got to get that right there. <laughs> so Wayne Valley has afforded some extra time to try to figure out what they're going to do. Yeah, it's really worked out well, you know, for them, you know, to have some extra Three time receivers. to get the play in. Three receivers to the right. Shoot Pline, straight drop back. He's going to run. He's going to keep rolling. He throws. He fires it, and it looks like it is incomplete. Incomplete. It Pass a, intended for number 24, Brandon Kindler. Yeah, really that, you know, he had really no chance of catching that ball there. So a good throw away. Yeah. But the thing is, now you've got 19 seconds left. You've got a good kicker, all right? And don't get caught because you don't have those timeouts. Well, Clock uh, management here is huge. Your good kicker just happens to be your best player yeah. starting quarterback. So let's hopefully he can make the play. Third and goal. Here's Shoopline. Takes the back snap. He drops back. He's looking. He's going to run. He's going to throw. Oh, he yeah. looks like he had a man number seven, Justin Monstein, and he just overthrew him a little bit. Yeah, and, and you know what? You know, he didn't maybe see him there. So now you're going to see the field goal team come, come in now, and they're going to say, hey, look at Let's see if we can take three here and be happy going in with 13 nothing lead. But let's give Del Rand credit again. Their <laughs> red zone defense has been outstanding in this first half. It's really kept them in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Now if they can just get the offense in sync. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stop dropping the football. Yeah, uh, that's a big thing. So here we go. Shoot Pline to attempt the field goal on fourth and goal for Wayne Valley. Here's the snap. Shoopline, the kick is up. Oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. He pitches it back. Shoopline with the football, throws it deep, and it is caught for a touchdown. But there's flags there's on There's flags the everywhere. I don't know what the heck is going on. Wow. I, I don't know. There's a lot to unravel here. Yeah, absolutely. I've never seen a trick play like yeah. that. And it doesn't even look like it was sexy. I don't think it was properly. a trick play. I think they were just, you know. That's a Sandlot play huh. where there are no referees. The referees are trying to figure it out, too. Yeah, they don't know what the heck happened either. Uh, uh, See, everybody talking. You got the uh, man with the white hat. You have to see a replay. Well, I think that, that, wow. Well, here's uh, Look, he pitches it forward to Shoopline, who then throws the football. Del Rand doesn't even look like they're playing defense. They look like, I don't know what you're doing. This doesn't make any passes? sense. Is passes? Well, it was a forward pass. Yeah. It's not a lateral. Shoe yeah. Pline was not behind. All right, so what we've got down there is... Kittler. It's the end. That's got to be the end of the half. End of the half. All right. So, Kittler pitched it forward to Shoe Pline, who they then threw it. 
what they signal gave was illegal receiver downfield. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So basically, they were going to run that in there. Then he decided to throw the ball, but he already had passed one. You know. Yeah. And there was everybody down there. So at the half, Wayne Valley leads 10-0 to Del Rand. Whoever you are, whatever you like, there's a place where memories become traditions. So this summer, come on down and enjoy all that's fun at the shore. Plan today and book America's greatest family resort. Ocean City, New Jersey. We're less than a tank of gas away. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. When it comes to taking care of your physical wellness, maintaining good health of your bones and muscles, you want a team of doctors you can trust and who hold themselves to the highest standards. At Premier Orthopedic Associates, we believe that you should live life at your best. Our team of non-operative and operative orthopedic specialists strive for the highest standards, exceptional outcomes, and happiest patients. Come and experience the Premier difference. No one out cheeses, out meats, out supremes, out crusts, or out stuffs the hut. Because when it comes to making your favorites, no one out pizzas the hut. Whoever you are, whatever you like, there's a place where memories become traditions. So this summer, come on down and enjoy all that's fun at the shore. Plan today and book your vacation in America's greatest family resort. Ocean City, New Jersey. We're less than a tank of gas away. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. When it comes to taking care of your physical wellness, maintaining good health of your bones and muscles, you want a team of doctors you can trust and who hold themselves to the highest standards. At Premier Orthopedic Associates, we believe that you should live life at your best. Our team of non-operative and operative orthopedic specialists strive for the highest standards, exceptional outcomes, and happiest patients. Come and experience the Premier difference. No one out cheeses, out meats, out supremes, out crusts, or out stops the hut. Because when it comes to making your favorites, no one out pizzas the hut.
whoever you are, whatever you like. There's a place where memories become traditions. So this summer, come on down and enjoy all that's fun at the shore. Plan today and book your vacation in America's greatest family resort. Ocean City, New Jersey. We're less than a tank of gas away. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. When it comes to taking care of your physical wellness, maintaining good health of your bones and muscles, you want a team of doctors you can trust and who hold themselves to the highest standards. At Premier Orthopedic Associates, we believe that you should live life at your best. Our team of non-operative and operative orthopedic specialists strive for the highest standards, exceptional outcomes, and happiest patients. Come and experience the Premier difference. No one out cheeses, out meats, out supremes, out crusts, or out stuffs the hut. Because when it comes to making your favorites, no one out pizzas the hut.
We are back here for this football game. Wayne Valley leads 10-0 against Del Ran as we begin the second half. Wayne Valley will return uh, as they deferred in the first half. And I'll tell you what, they, you know, Del Ran is very fortunate that they're only down by 10. Their defense, you know, has kept them into this game. And really, Valley might have had more points if they would have connected down there. They've had their chances. And hopefully Del Rand has gone in there at, you know, halftime and they made some adjustments, you know, in their game plan now because they're only down 10 nothing. And, you know, high school football, that's easy to come back from. Exactly. Ethan Smith to kick off deep to Wayne Valley. Back there to receive is Danny Smith, number nine, and number 24. Brandon Kindler. Here's the kick. And it is returned by Kindler. Kindler running inside. Gets into the middle of the field. Kindler past the 40. And a good return for Wayne Valley. I'll tell you, number 16, Dominic Malam. Made a nice tackle on that because he was the last guy there, son. If he beats him, he's it's sitting a house in the call. end zone. It's yep. a house call. That's it. So here we go as I mean, Alex Schuplin. Being an old coach, I've been impressed with the tackling on Del Rand. They're really wrapping and doing form tackling like it's supposed to be. Schuplin in the shotgun with Smith back there with him. Schuplin takes a snap, hands it off. He keeps it. Little pass out there to Kindler who makes a man miss and looks to gain close to another first down. I'll tell you, how'd you like to be on the field, Deshaun? You're all the way up here, and he faked you out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He faked you out. You would think those linemen didn't go for that fake like he was running the ball there, and then he flips it out. Well, we talked about it. That fake inside zone to that little quick throw yeah. has been very effective for Alex Schuplin. So here's a little wildcat formation. Number 15 keeps it for Wayne Valley, tries to get back inside, takes on a tackler, Joseph Costa. They've been running. That's the second time they ran that little wildcat formation. I'll tell you what. He made something out of nothing there. Uh, he should have been actually thrown for a loss there. He winds up, you know, he gets about five yards on it. 6-2. Joseph Costa is the backup quarterback. He's a senior. Looks like he's staying in there. So he's staying in there with Smith in the backfield. Costa looks over to the sideline. Waiting to get the play. Second and three. Beginning of the third quarter here. Costa takes the snap. Fakes the inside zone. Throws it. He's a lefty, but oh, <laughs> hit right away was Tyler Smith. He was hit right away by that defender. I'll tell you again, we've said it over and over. The defense for Del Ran is keeping them in this ball game. Second and three coming up as Schuplein looks to get back in the game. Three. Third and three, he's in the shotgun. Smith back there with him. A receiver to the far left. Schuplin takes the snap, fakes it. QB power all the way. He makes a man miss, and he's moving those feet. First down and more for Tell Alex Schuplin. Nice blocking up front. Great hole there. All right. He was in the secondary like that, you know, that quick. Here's that hurry up. Schuplin in the shotgun. Smith back there with them. Oh, that's got to be a false start. Yeah, that's got to be a whole lot moved start. before the ball yeah. snapped. And that, you know, and you had your other back there not going to motion, taking a step towards the line. Yeah. That's offside. Well, we're getting close to the bugaboo for Wayne Valley. As they get closer to the end zone, they get closer to making more mistakes. Yeah, that, definitely. Like we say, it's the first game of the year for both of them. I would imagine there's going to be a very high emphasis for Wayne Valley this week in practice on red zone offense. <laughs> Under center now, a rarity for Wayne Valley is Shuplin. Here we go, toss play to the backup quarterback, number 15, Costa, and he goes nowhere. He's nowhere. swallowed up immediately by a gang of defenders for Del Rand. Right, you have you know, number 18 in there, so here, Cobbins wrapped him up first. Del yeah. Rand's come back. They come out to play now. They're not giving them anything. Denny Vitesi was also in on that tackle for Del Rand, number 24. Shuplin again in the shotgun. Second and 17 now. Hard count. No one jumps. 
Looks over to the sideline to get the play. Smith is also on the backfield with him. Two receivers to his left. One, I'm sorry, two to his right. He's looking at the play. Goes back into the shotgun formation. Shuplin takes the snap. Inside zone to Smith, who gets yardage and more. Makes a man miss. And that inside zone has been dangerous with Danny Smith. Yeah, Danny Smith, you know, he just, I'll tell you, got that left the side of that line over there is opening up some holes. They're not that big, those guys. Here we go, third down uh, on another false start penalty. My gosh. That's the dangers when you run that hurry-up offense. Yeah. I mean, right now, the best thing for Del Ren is the penalties that are being, you know, dealt over there, you know, to the valley. So here we go, third and 11, as Shuplin looks over to the sideline to get the play. Three receivers to the right, one to the left, Smith in the backfield. Shuplin looks to the sideline. Critical third down here early yeah. in this half for Wayne Valley. Big third down. Shuplin looks over to his receivers. Shotgun formation takes a snap. Straight drop back. He looks left. He's pumping. Throws it. It's an ugly pass. It's picked off. Picked off by number six, Leo Dutra. He's taking it back. And Stanny Smith makes the tackle. But that's the play that Del Rand needed. And there's no flags on the field. He got hit when he was throwing that ball. That's why, you know, it was up there for grabs there. So you got to, you know. So here we go. Shupla takes the snap fakes hit as he throws. It's a, just a lame duck throw high in the air and picked off easily by Dutra. And he uh, he makes something happen too, you know, there. So the first mistake made by Alex Schupline. And it's an interception and Delran has the ball past midfield. Hey, this is just what the doctor ordered for them. With a prime chance to get back in this game. And Alex, de defense came up with that. You know, nice hit in the backfield. You know, duck up there and you go shoot it down. Derek Nemnun in the shotgun. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Here we go. Nemnun drops back, three step drop, looks, throws it deep, has a man, and just overshoots number three, Mike Mullen, the freshman. And he had his man beat. He did. All right. And. Just clean little, pocket, too. Yeah, clean pocket. Just a little bit too much air under it there. Uh, I'll tell you, they want to have that one back. But I will have that. You're going to run that again. <laughs> and maybe not right now. Here's a quick look right here. Nam Nun, a clear pocket. All times to throw. Throws and just overshoots Mullen, who looked like he kind of short, short shot at his right a yeah. little bit. And that's a freshman receiver, and those things tend to happen. I form formation for Nam Nun. Jimmy Rush in the backfield. The handoff is to Jimmy Rush. Up the middle. Rush. First down run. And he could have had a lot more had he not lost his footing. I'll tell you, nice little uh, trap play. Number 73, left guard pulls out there. And they double team that uh, defensive end there. Opened up a gaping hole. And he just took it, you know, for what they gave him there. So. Now you got to give that lineman credit, man. He, he got out of there, pulled. And he just took that defensive uh, land and took him out of took him out of the play. I form formation for Nam Nun. Rush is in the backfield. Nam Nun under center. Hands off to Rush again. Rush up the sideline. It'll get a couple. But again, Del Ran is in full control right now after the turnover. That play was just too slow developing, yeah. you know, there. I, I think if they go back to that trap play, whether they run it to either side, that's been their uh, bread and butter a few times there. Their linemen are very quick pulling, too. So Wayne Valley needs to make a stop here after the turnover by Shupline. Nan Nun now in the shotgun. Rush is in the backfield with him. Receiver on each side. Nan Nun. Here we go, man in motion. Inside, play to Rush. Rush loses uh, footing again. 
And like you just said, Harry, they ran the motion with number five, Urza Thomas, to give the illusion of speed, yep. but then went inside with the trap yeah. play to rush, and you got a positive game. Yeah, they run when they run those trap plays instead of going straight, you know, they've been successful. And, you know, don't go away from it, you know, until they stop it. That's, That's what smart I play calling. That's yeah. smart play calling. So Nam Nun goes back to the huddle. And they, run, it, and they run the out. trap to both sides. Yeah. You know, so, you know, it's effective either way. Number 18, Zaire Cobbins is in the backfield now. I form formation. Nam Nun will hand it off inside to Cobbins, who is tackled right away. What a hit right there. Number 36, it looks like, Luis Rojas. And I'll tell you what, that was just a straight dive, all right? They haven't been successful in that Go back to those you know, trap plays. You know, if it works, keep doing it until they stop it. Well, if they want a chance to really get back in this game, you got to get points here. Got to get gotta points, points. Two receivers to the left of Nemnon. I-4 formation again. No. Looks like there's going to be a stoppage in play. Timeout. Timeout, Wayne Valley. Eveson Mortgage is your home. Town leader committed to finding you the right mortgage product for your needs. Ifshin Mortgage offers a full menu of mortgage, mortgage options before they understand every borrower is different. With more than 50 years in business, they make the process of securing a mortgage simple and straightforward. Visit ishamortgage.com or call their trained professionals at 856-985-9944 to lock in your savings. Eveson Mortgage is uh, located on East Route 70 in Marlton, preparing you for the generations to come. Okay, here we go. Second and nine. Second and nine coming up for Del Ran as they are driving here early in the, I'm sorry, late now in the second half. Yeah. Third quarter has just been going by. Here we go. Under center now is Namnun. Two receivers to the left. Here we go. Toss play to Rush. Rush fakes the sideline. Tries to cut back inside, but the defense was ready for him. Number one, Chris Jun. Shot out of a cannon there, and yeah. this time he made the play. Yeah, this time he made the play, and they've gotten, you know, really nothing out of it. So now you're... Your play calling really needs something, you know, here. You got to come up with something. You got third and about nine. Third and eight. Third and eight. You got two plays. You're not going to go for a field goal. All right, you're in four down territory. So let's see what they dial up. So here we go. Third and eight. Nam Nun is in the shotgun. Rush to his left. One receiver each side. Here we go. In reverse. Here we go. Urza Thomas using that speed. Oh, he should have cut it inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Urza Thomas. I'll tell you, number 12, Ryan Clark just picked him up and drove him, you know, to the ground. What a great tackle there. But you're right, Deshaun. Here we go on the replay. A reverse. Rush tosses it back to Urza Thomas, who has some dangerous speed. You look at it right here. If he cuts this ball back inside, he's got green grass. Yeah. But he stayed and was met by Clark, who just made an amazing <laughs> tackle. What a beautiful tackle. All right, we're going to get a timeout here. See what's up. Foundation title. Our local title insurance and settlement services agency, Foundation Title, is proud to be a sponsor of Cherokee Football. Whether you are purchasing your first home or refinancing your mortgage, Foundation Title is here to help you every step of the way. With an experienced staff of over 180 employees, they are focused on providing customers with excellent service while ensuring secure, timely, and accurate tan transactions. With 12 offices located throughout the state of New Jersey, you are never far from the expertise of Foundation Title. If you are purchasing a property, be sure to use New Jersey's number one title, Foundation. Follow them on social media and visit their website, foundationtitle.com, today. Foundation Title, something to build upon. So here we go, fourth and four for Del Ran. 
Nam Nun is in the shotgun. I don't want to say this is the ball game here, but it's close. It's close. Rush to his left. Shotgun formation. Man in motion. Nam Nun takes a straight back stab. Throws it into the flat. Caught by number one. Let's see Liam Kennedy, mark. but he was hit right away. Was that Clark again? Yep. It's a great play, but they, they call it a first down. Wow. I'll tell you, he didn't get it by much, this no, one, I'll tell no. you that. Didn't get it by much. No, but... But it doesn't matter. He got it. First right? and ten now for Del Ren as they continue this march down the field after the turnover to try to get points. Yeah, and this, you know, monumental series here, you know. And they don't want, they don't want a field goal. They want six. They want six. So Nem Nun comes out of the huddle. Receiver to his left. I'm sorry, his right. Two receivers to his left. Rush in the backfield. Nem Nun, shotgun snap. Takes it back straight. Drop back. Throws it deep to Thomas. And Thomas lost the football. Looked like the sun got in his eyes. Yeah, but that was that was way overthrown a anyway there. And he was open. Yeah, he was. He yeah. was. He beat his man. Would have been a nice, you know, catch. But, the, you know. But to me, to, to me, it looked like he kind of got lost in the sun because he kind of short-shotted his route. Again, the ball was a little overthrown. Yeah. I but, don't think but a catchable he, ball. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if he caught it, it would have been a, you know. One of those amazing catches. Yeah, maybe. amazing catch. I can't fault him for missing that one. Second and ten. Nam Nun in the shotgun, rushed to his left. He's looking. Man in motion, Thomas. Shotgun, straight QB run. Gets to the outside, but not much. Yeah, he was fortunate to, you know, get that much because the defensive end went inside instead yeah. of, you know, holding yeah. down the edge there like he's supposed to do, which gave him a little room to run, pick up a couple of yards. Third and eight for the Del Rand Bears. Nem Nun needs to make a play here. Yeah. They got to get some points if they're going to get back in this game. Yeah, I mean, you're knocking on the door and you got to knock it down here. You got to knock it down. Watch out for number five, Urza Thomas. It seems like every third down, they're looking for him with that speed. Now, none in the shotgun. Rush in the backfield. Thomas in motion. High snap. Here's the throw. Now, none. Oh! Incomplete, but a flag in the end zone. One on one uh, prime as Kennedy let's, and no, Judd. If you see this on replay, you tell me if there's a penalty. All right? It I looked, don't it looked see a little one. questionable. I don't the see The officials one are there. meeting to talk. Yeah, I don't see interference on that. Chris Judd is over there trying to argue his case. Number one for Wayne Valley. Yeah, and they, you know, I don't know if they got two different calls on here, but this is a big, big part of this game. They've got to get this right. It's a big call here. See what he comes up with. Pass, Pass interference. interference. Defense. Uh, I didn't see it. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I didn't see it. But wow. Wow. That, that is, we didn't get, that we didn't is get a replay huge. there, but it was a bang-bang play. Yeah. And like I said, one-on-one -on -one crime as Liam Kennedy and Chris Judd. Both wear number one for their respective teams. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's that's a big call there. You know, could have gone either way. Like I said, from up here, I thought it was clean. So 2.58 left to go in the third quarter. Third and three for the Del Ran Bears. I guess because I played a lot of defensive back, I want to go with the defense on that. <laughs> Well, for coming from an offensive guy, it was a bang bang play. I'm yeah. not. I'm not going to take sides there. Yeah. Now none in the shotgun. Rush in the backfield with him. Two receivers to his left. One to his right. Blitz coming, and it looks like yeah. someone jumped Jeff. off sides. Now let's see if it was the defense here or the offense. Well, the blitz was coming, and yeah. Looks like it's going to be a first down if this is off sides on Wayne Valley. Waiting for the call. Yeah. Going to be half the distance. Automatic first down. Well, they got him on that one. They got him on that one. They were getting closer. A couple penalties, a couple mistakes by, you know, Wayne Valley. 
And you got Del Rian knocking on the door trying to make this a ball game. Well, it's safe to say this has been by far the best game of Battle at the Beach but so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, we're, we haven't seen a running clock. No. <laughs> First and goal for Del Rian. And now we can see what their red zone offense looks like. As two receivers to the left. Under center is Nemnun. He takes a snap, hands off inside to Rush, and it looks like he is in. Let's Waiting see. for the signal. For the, I, I don't know. Touchdown. I see the signal from the back, back judge. Okay. Wait. No. No. No, the back judge made the signal a touchdown, but I guess he was <laughs> overruled. Yeah, he's not the one that you're supposed to listen to on that one. The back judge shouldn't make it. He got the line... Referees so here we go. There. They're hurrying up. They're hurrying up. First and goal from the one, it looks like. Inside handoff. And it depends on the spot. I don't think and he got in. I don't think he got in. No. And, you know, basically, you know, they stopped him with forward progress there. Third and goal. And, again, they're doing the opposite of what Wayne Valley was doing. They're trying to just run it up the gut. Yeah. And Wayne Valley's doing a great job of stuffing it. Here we go. Nam Nun under center. Everyone's on the line of scrimmage. Nam Nun's uh, going to keep it. He's, he's going to roll walk out. In. He's going to walk in for a touchdown. Don't going, need a judge for that. Going through my mind was they're going to do this. I, you know, probably should have called it, but everybody was packed in there. If you usually went to the outside, you see what happened. Well, you see that Nam Nun does a great job of faking the ball to rush and then using his athleticism to just walk right into the end zone. And that was a big play by Del Rand. Pending the extra point, they could be down one possession. Penalties didn't uh, hurt either. Yeah, no, they didn't. So here we go. High snap. Kick is up by number 27, Ethan it's Smith. Good. And it is good. 10-7 ball game. Well, I'll tell you what, we got a ball game, you know, here now. Don't look like it'll be any running clocks in this one. All right. Johnson's Popcorn is known all over the Delaware Valley, specializing in their delicious caramel corn. They are open all year at 1368 Boardwalk in Ocean City. Phone 1-800-842-2676 or go online at johnsonspopcorn.com to place your order. Johnson's Popcorn, since 1940. Shopping is even better online. You may know their showroom at 1031 Shore Road in Linwood, but you can order whatever you need at Shopee.com. Remember, you are not presenting the best trophy if it's not a Shopee trophy. Phone 609-653-1684. Shopee since 1921. Starting a new century. So here we go. Del Rand to kick it off to Wayne Valley. A impressive start to the second half. Used basically the whole quarter. The defense makes the turnover. The offense turns it into seven points. And now the pressure's back on Wayne Valley. Yeah. We got a, we got a ball game. Yes. All right. Nice to be able to say that. Ethan Smith to kick it off deep as Danny Smith is back there, also Brandon Kindler. It's a little pooch kick, and it is returned. I'm waiting to see it. Number 87, Christian Mercado. Yeah, and he's not used to running the ball. No. He went right down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was one of the up uh, men there. And they, they uh, give him the ball on the 40-yard line. I don't know about that. That was, uh, you know. Well, we applauded the deep kickoffs all day. Yeah. That, that, that was the ugliest kickoff off the day. Yeah, and they get it on uh, their own 42. So great field position for Alex Shuplon. So listen, we've talked all day about pressure, and this is the first time the Shuplon in this offense faces any, as now they have to respond only up three. Shotgun formation here. Shuplon takes a snap inside zone to Danny Smith, and he is swallowed. swallowed what a play by there. number 20 of Del Rand, Johnny Kingsmore. Yeah, I'll tell you what. He just got in there, wrapped him, threw him down. They've got, you can see a little uh, more pep in their step there for Del Rand. Big play, and they're kind of getting used to this inside zone stuff as, look, the linebackers are staying home, and then 24, Danny Vitesi, 
gets there first. Here we go. Quick snap shotgun. Shoot line straight drop back. He's looking. He's moving. Runs. Throws it. Oh! oh. He had <laughs> Kindler there and just overshot him. He had him wide open there for what would have been a first down to keep this drive uh, rolling here. Just got a little bit too excited and... You see the pressure there, and listen, Shoopline's done a great job stepping up, being patient, using that elusiveness, but you got to get a better throw here. Just overshot Kindler. Yeah, you could tell. He, he didn't have his feet set, you know, everything. He just flung it. Here we go. Rolls out is Shoopline. He's going to throw. Stop. Slings it. Caught by number 14. What a play by Adam Okun. A first down and more for Wayne Valley. I'll tell you what, number 16, Dominic Milan, was right there. I thought he was going to pick it off. Sidearm throw there by Shuplin, but the play was made by Adam Okun, the senior. And I, we're rolling for Wayne Valley. Great coverage there. I thought he was going to pick it off. So here we go, Shuplin looking over at the sideline. Third down, he makes the play. Doesn't matter how pretty it looks as long as nope. it gets done. That's it, and he got it done. Danny Smith is in the backfield with him. And the shotgun set, two receivers to his left and right. Here we go, straight drop back, fake. Shuplin throws it deep, has a man wide open, and is caught for touchdown. a touchdown. Number eight. Justin and Monston, number seven. And no flags. Caught it clean for a touchdown. And right back, Wayne Valley strikes 16-7. Wow, didn't take him. Uh, didn't take him long. Here we go. Shoop line, little fake, clean pocket, throws it deep, wide open, no one around. Number seven, Justin Monston, as he catches it cleanly. Definitely, TD. A, definitely a blown coverage on that yeah. one, Deshaun. Well, right? it was the fake. The fake yeah. kind of got him. Fake. Hey, and what do they tell you if you're a defensive back? Where do you play? Deeper than the deepest. Yes. <laughs> yes. You don't want anyone getting behind you. At and he was 10 yards easily behind. So Shuplin to kick the extra point after throwing the touchdown pass. What a response by Wayne Valley. All the momentum was with Del Rand as the kick is up and the kick is good. And, what a response. And you see on the sideline, doesn't look real nice for uh, Del Rand there. After you know getting right back in the game to give it back to them. Sure, True Value Hardware in Summers Point hopes that you will continue to shop locally. They offer friendly service and expert advice. At Sure Hardware, they'll do anything to help. They are open weekdays until 7, Saturdays until 6, and Sundays until 4. Help is just around the corner at Sure True Value Hardware, 515 New Road in Summers Point. Phone 609-927-6464 or visit them online at surehardware.com. Calvi Electric. Winning teams know that the key to success is getting the job done right the first time. For over 100 years, Calvi Electric has applied that philosophy to their business to offer an unparalleled level of ex electrical expertise and service to every single customer. Now you can bring Calvi's expertise into your home for your electrical problems or improvements. And they can install solar panels now that will save you money. Make Calvi Electric a part of your winning team. Call 609-345-0151 or visit calvielectric.com. So Wayne Valley set to kick it off to Del Rand. A tremendous response because it looked like Del Rand had the game right where they wanted him. They just scored seven points. <laughs> and then the kickoff happened, and then everything went downhill. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we have a whole quarter and 15 seconds to go, so Del Rand's going to have to answer again. Shoopline to kick it deep. Urza Thomas as well as Zaire Cobbins to return. Shoopline kicks it and it goes deep. Cobbins right there to take it cleanly. Here we go, he's running up. Cuts back inside but is tackled. And I don't even think he got to the 20. Yeah, num number 13 on that 
KCS Rivers wrapped him up and threw him down there. So they've had good position that they've gotten on the kickoffs, but not this time. Not this time. So only eight seconds left to go in the third quarter. 17-7 Wayne Valley. And now, if you're Namnun, you got to put together another drive to try to get some more points to stay in this yeah. game. And, you know, just uh, you had a quick dose of happiness over on the sideline for Del Rand that evaporated very quickly on that touchdown pass. So here we go. First and ten. Now none is under center. I form formation. Man in motion. Here we go. Hand off to Rush. Rush inside and doesn't get barely anything. Basically, that play was blown up from the beginning. Everything was too slow. You know, too slow. That's got to be a quick hitter there if you're going to get those linemen blocked. Ian Harmon on the tackle. So that's the end of the third quarter. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. No one out cheeses, out meats, out supremes, out crusts, or out stops the hut. Because when it comes to making your favorites, no one out pizzas the hut. All right, we're ready to start the fourth quarter here with Wayne Valley up 17 to 7. Uh, Delran got a quarter to get things together. Had a nice drive there, but Valley came right back. Took well, her happiness away. If Delran is going to get back in this game, it's got to be kind of some quick punches. Uh, their drives have been long. It's been a lot of running the football, which is fine early in the game, but when you're down 10 against a quick striking offense of Wayne Valley, something's got to give. Yeah, uh, you gotta you got to start. You're not, not time to panic yet, but you've got to – Hurry up a little bit. Get something going. So here we go. Nemnun in the shotgun. Rush in the backfield with him. Nemnun, quick drop back. Quick throw to Rush into the flat. And he is just gang busted right there. Talk by about all reading the play. All right. There was five. Not one, not two, not three, not four. But five Valley guys there to meet him on that pass. Boy, did they read that one correctly. Got to pick up a two yards on that. Third and eight. And again, a big third down here. If you're going to get back in this game, Urza Thomas looks like he's checking in. Nan Nun gets the play from the team. Gets to the huddle. Again, look look for Urza Thomas. He's been their speed guy that they look for on these third downs. Here we go. Shotgun set. Nan Nun. Rush next to him. Three receivers to the left of Nan Nun. Three-step drop. Namna looks. Look, he's going to roll out. Oh, whoa, that's going to be a face mask. Yep. His head was yanked back. There's no horse collar. There's a horse collar tackle on that. Got him right up there. Something. The that looked violent. But again, you, you had him dead to rights. You don't need to do that. No. And that's a thing where when you grab it, let your hand go right away. No. He stayed with it and took him down. And he got nailed. That's a dangerous play. That well, can really hurt yeah, somebody. Hopefully Nam Nun is okay. Yeah. As his head twisted violently uh, around his body. But again, he looks to be okay. He's over there talking to the coach. Uh, all right. All right. We got off center setting wow. on that. Boy, what a break for uh, you know Wayne Valley on that. Nam Nun, oh, his, his head would grab the face mask clearly. See, if I want to change the rule on that and give it to the, you know, guy that got his head snapped. Yeah. But, but offsetting penalties. So they just replay third down. Yeah. Bad break there for uh, Del Ran. Del Ran. We missed the other penalty. What was the penalty? On Del Rand. Holding? Yeah, hold, it was yeah. holding. So here we go. Third and eight. Shotgun set for Nan Nun. Rushes in the backfield with them. Three receivers. 
Straight drop back. He throws it deep. Oh, there was not a chance. The only one that really could have even caught that was the quarterback for the other team that plays DB, well, Alex Shuplon. Ba basically on that one, he had to get rid of that ball because the outside linebacker was coming free and uh, he was not going to be able to step up or do anything. So he did the right thing, tried to make a play out of it, but they're denied again. So he's going to bring a punting situation here for Del Rand. So Nemnun's going to punt it. Back to receive the punt for Wayne Valley's Danny Smith. All right, Wayne Valley calls a timeout. Don't know why, but <laughs> they want to get everything together. Halliday Leonard. If you're planning to build a home, make your first step a visit to Halliday Leonard. Halliday Leonard will consult you on your design and assist the development of your custom home. They build single family homes that will fit most any budget, plus condominiums, townhouses, and commercial buildings. Get your ideas together and take them to Halliday Leonard at 700 Haven Avenue in Ocean City or phone them at 398 5737. Halliday Leonard will help make your dream home a reality. Gillian's Wonderland Pier, 6 and Street and the Boardwalk in Ocean City is a popular summer destination. Gillian's will be open until 10 this weekend and through Labor Day weekend. And they will give you a chance to enjoy their amusement rides there every weekend in September. So here we go. The punt. Not none to punt to Danny Smith. Here we go. Pooch punt. And it's going to bounce a lot. And to get out of bounds there. Uh, going to give. Got the 37? Yeah. Great field position. And a chance for Wayne Valley to kind of put this game away. Yeah, I, you know, absolutely. And, you know, with a 10-point lead and the way their offense is going, they're not going to be uh, in any hurry here. Well, uh, it's funny you say that because all their offense has been is in a hurry. Uh, right. I've yet to see them slow it down. And it, it's going to be interesting to see if they can kind of extend this lead, how they can kind of go from a hurry-up offense to more of a clock running offense. Yeah, and you know if they put one more score up, basically – the way Del Rand runs, they're not a quick shot offense. Could be over then. So here we go. The backup Costa is in shotgun. Here we go. Costa straight QB power. Gets outside. Costa gets close, and it looks like he might have a first down. I'll tell you, the, both of these quarterbacks for Valley, for Wayne Valley, they show just their patience, you know? It's, it must be the way they're coached, you know, like, let your blockers set up, okay, show you where the hole is, all right, because they're not just quick hitters, you're picking where you're going to go on there, and it's basically, you know, the patience that's gotten them, you know, seven, eight yards on one on a carry there and kept them moving the ball right down the field. Second and two, looks like Costa stays in at quarterback with Smith in the backfield with him, Costa, another QB power up the middle, and this time he definitely has a Wayne Valley first down. Yeah, just that. Uh, yeah, he goes to fake like he's going to run outside, and cuts back up the middle, gets the first down. Delran's got to come up with something here. Got to come up with something. So, looks like Costa's going to stay in the game as he has been, dare I say, their Tim Tebow, <laughs> <laughs> running that QB power effectively. For Wayne Valley. So here we go. Costas in the shotgun. Danny Smith in the backfield with him. Two receivers to his left. Costa, QB power again. There's a flag on the play. And this yeah. time, Del Rand was ready for it. Yeah, and I think that I think it's going to go against uh, Wayne Valley. I think I saw the right guard jump, but we'll see what it is. Waiting for the Waiting for the call for the official. Ball start on the offense. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> usually when you see a flag before the play, as the play continues, huh. usually it means false start. Wait a minute. All right. So Sh Alex Schuplein is back in the game. First to 15. First and 15. Schuplein looks over at the sideline. 
clock yeah. continues to run. They want to get they want to get some points out of this to put it away. So here we go. Kindler is in motion. Goes to the slot. Three receivers to the left of Shuplin. Hard snap. No one jumps. Looks over to the sideline again. Communicating with his receivers. Here we go. Shuplin. Ready for the snap. Takes it. QB power. He runs and he is hit pretty quickly. Yeah, and... Yeah. You see what Wayne Valley's doing now. It's again, I hate to bring it back to it with the Chip Kelly stuff. They're basically just waiting to run the play. That's yep. how they're running the clock. That's it. Hey, and right now it's working for them. Yeah. Second and thirteen coming up for Wayne Valley. And uh, you know, as for a rare time in today's game, they're huddling up. Yeah. Shoe line is. In at quarterback in the shotgun. Danny Smith with him. Two receivers to the left of Shuplin. Two receivers to the right. Looks over at the sideline. Waiting to get the play. Clock continues to run. Man in motion. Here we go. Shuplin drops back. Quick throw to Danny Smith. And Del Rand was ready for it. Yeah. I like the call. I like the call, but Del Rand's defense, you know, they were up for that one over there. And uh, nice tackle over there. Well, to me, it looks like that Wayne Valley is not attacking on offense. They're kind of getting conservative, some, some short passes, some runs, trying to run some clock. Yeah. But, again, you've gotten the lead because you've been aggressive on the offensive side of the football. Well, wait till this one. Maybe they'll just uh, tell you that you're wrong. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, I call it like I see it. Yeah. Maybe we're going to take a shot. So here we go, third and 13. Uh, we've got an injury on the field. All right. Gillian's Wonderland Pier. Gillian's Wonderland Pier, 6th Street, and the boardwalk in Ocean City is a popular summer destination. Gillian's will be open until 10 this weekend and through Labor Day weekend. And they will give you a chance to enjoy their amusement rides every weekend in September. The summer continues through September at Gillian's Wonderland Pier 6 and the Boardwalk in Ocean City. Visit them online at Gillian's.com. Evesen Mortgage is your hometown lender committed to finding you the right mortgage products for your needs. Evesen Mortgage offers a full menu of mortgage options because they understand that every borrower is different. With more than 50 years in business, they make their process of securing a mortgage simple and straightforward. Third and 13 for Shuplin and Wayne Valley. Man in motion is Kindler. Shuplin rolls, throws, incomplete intended for Brandon Kindler. Well, hey, Del Rand's doing what they have to here. Keeping them out of that end zone. But then again, I mean, Wayne Valley, and I just said it, they're not attacking the red zone. It looks like they're com they're complacent with just running some clock. Yeah, and, you know, I guess, you know, that tells you a little bit about their confidence in their defense and knowing Del Rand hasn't had any really big plays. So they're playing the percentages. So here we go, fourth and 13. For Shuplin and Wayne Valley. And it looks like they're going to get a timeout on the field. Del Rand is complaining about the clock. Yeah. That so, it was an incomplete pass and the clock shouldn't have continued to run. Yeah. They're going to probably have to reset, you know, the clock up here. All right. So they seem to have uh, fixed the clock issue. Well, they gave him one second. All right. So here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, Del Rand's still not happy because it says 701. All right. He's given another, you know, hand signal over there for the clock. 710 so. is what Del Rand wants. But will it be 710 that Del Rand gets? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of confusion on the field right now. 
All right, I think now we're finally ready to go. Okay, so 710 is on the clock. They got right. 710. So here we go, 710 on the clock, 17-7, fourth and 13, shoot plan and the shotgun. Drops back. He's looking, throws it deep for the end zone, and it's dropped. It was a little behind Chris Jun. Definitely. But he should have caught yeah, it. Definitely catchable there, and that uh. would have been – the, the knife, you know, that would have been it. It would have been over there well, on, with that touchdown. Shoe with a clean pocket here. Three-step drop, throws it. Again, it was a little behind, but a very catchable ball for Chris Jun. Yeah. Who he, would have t just moonwalked into the end zone. Yeah, time. oh, yeah, absolutely. Wide open there. So a big-time break for Del Ran as they will take over. Down 10 with 7.05 left to go in the fourth quarter. Hey. They got to put it together. They got to put it together. Then an onside kick. <laughs> Painting it up. None, none in the shotgun with Rush in the backfield. And it looks like, oh, uh, missed opportunity. Here is number five, Urza Thomas, on that little speed option. And it looked like they were going to get an offside. Yeah, but he yeah. didn't snap the football. Yeah, he didn't snap the football, and he got back in his stance, and no call there. And really no gain on that play. They got to open it up. Yeah, this offense for Del Rand is, is, is kind of looked real lethargic throughout the game. This, you know, Besides that one long drive they had running the football, they right. haven't really done anything. No. And the trap play has been their best offense all day. Yeah, and they've gotten... Big yardage on that. Yeah. Now none in the shotgun. Rush in the backfield. Now none. Two-step drop. Quick throw. Caught by number 13, Beck. <laughs> All right. So we'll pick up some yardage there. Not enough for first down. Going to create, you know, third down and uh, I'd say four. Yeah. Three and a half. They got to keep, uh, keep moving here. Third and three. Six minutes and counting left in the game nem none in the shotgun rush with him two receivers to the right of nem none urza thomas one of them urza thomas in motion fix it nem none qb power up the middle well he bounces to the right it looks like where they're marking the ball he got the first down well no they gave him the first down yeah you were right harry i was wrong i'm yeah. sorry he looked short initially to me, but it looks like that he did indeed get the first down. I was looking at the ref. <laughs> He's the one who gets the final exactly. call on that. That is correct. Uh, so first and ten here for Del Rand. Taking a lot of time in the huddle there. Exactly. You, gotta, you should be able to put your plays in and get to that line of scrimmage and run them. You're ten Three points receivers behind. to the left. Drop back for Nam Nunn. Quick throw. Thomas gets the ball. Ah, uh, tackled a great tackle by number, number 50. 60. Yeah, yeah number 60, Lavender. Jack Lavender. Yeah, got to look where they changed his number. They made him yeah. a lineman. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, great tackle there. One of the captains for Wayne Valley, Jack Lavender, with a big-time tackle on the speedy ears of Thomas. Yeah, because he had some room to run. Yeah. He doesn't make that, if he misses that tackle, he had some room. So here we go, Nam Nun, Ezra Thomas in motion. Nam Nun pressure. He escapes it. Little bit of worming around, and he finally gets brought down. And they're saying keep the clock running. So he didn't even get out of bounds, no. which is crucial on that. They're running the clock. And they're in no hurry, it seems like, Delran. No, you they're gotta, not. You know, come on, you got to get in that huddle, guys. Let's go. Yeah, and the only chance you got is, uh, you know, maybe score, onside kick. Starting to look hurry like up. Starting to look like Super Bowl 39 all over again. <laughs> Third and four for Del Ran. Rush in the backfield with Nam Nun. Nam Nun drops back. Pressure in his face. Quick throw is caught by number 24, I believe. Now probably give him the first down. Denny Vitesi. I would give him the first down with, uh, you know, where they're going to mark the ball. Forward progress. And they moved the chains. Danny Batiste with a big time catch for a first down. But you're down to three minutes. 3.38. Yeah. It's, 
This drive is just taking way too long. I'm getting anxious up yeah. there. <laughs> There's no sense of urgency. No, not at all. Down there with Del Rand. It's mind-boggling right now. Ezra Thomas in the slot. Nam Nun in the shotgun with Rush. Thomas is in motion. They fake it. Deep throw. And it is dropped. It's a and, flag, but though. Gonna be flat. That's going to be interference. That Neil win. Moss with a third drop of the game, but it looks like it's going to be interference. I don't yeah, know. That one. Looks like that Wayne Valley's clapping. <laughs> Wait to see the call. It looked like interference on me. Interference on, offense. on the, offense. Yes, the offense. Wow. I thought that, you know, on Del number Rand was going to get a break on that. Camille Yilmaz, another drop, but just compounding it. And look who's on the coverage. Alex Shuplin. Yeah. Uh, Did you see the interference on that? I mean, it was a minor push-off, but nothing that would lead me to throw a flag. Yeah. I didn't think so either. But nevertheless, first and twenty. Yeah, now they're back. And now Ezra Thomas is on the bench, and that's been the guy that's been the explosive player for Del Ran. Ah, here we go. Man in motion. Nem none in the shotgun. Drops back. He's looking. Throws the rush. Who catches it? But it is immediately hit. And yeah. I'm looking for who made the tackle there. Yeah, I'm trying to get his number two. All right. Number 12. All right. Cassius Rivers on that. Yes. I've been impressed this whole game with the tackling out there. These guys have uh, fundamentally, both teams have been really sound. You know, when they get a guy, they put him down. And the clock continues to run. It's 2.37 left in this game. Second and 16. Del Rand just taking all day just to get the ball past midfield. Nam none drops back. Throws it deep again. Kill Moss. Drops it again. He had it in his hands. Great play there by Smith. But Kill Moss, I mean, it, it's been tough for him today. Yeah, tougher day. That was a tough catch, you know, but still catchable and would have given them a first down. The only thing good about that play is it stops the clock. So Ezra Thomas looks like he's going to check back in. And again, when he's not in the game, the, the, the threat of the speed. It just isn't there for Del Rand. No, not at all. The offense is, well, lethargic has been a word we've used a lot. I don't know if it's really appropriate to, to talk about at this point. <laughs> yeah. Ezra Thomas is in the slot. Nam Nun in the shotgun. Drops back. Quick throw. Ezra Thomas takes it. And there's that speed. But he gets to midfield. Won't be enough for a first yeah, down. Won't be enough for a first yeah, down. Ezra Thomas. And it's been mind-numbing, to be honest, that they haven't tried to get the football in his hands a little bit more no. to use that speed. The sophomore, Ezra Thomas, for Del Rand, 6 feet, 150 pounds. Looks like we have a timeout here. Our local title insurance and settlement services agency, Foundation Title, is proud to be a sponsor of Cherokee football. Whether you are purchasing your first home or refinancing your mortgage, Foundation Title is here to help you every step of the way. With an experienced staff of over 180 employees, they are focused on providing customers with excellent service while ensuring secure, timely, and accurate transactions. With 12 offices located throughout the state of New Jersey, you are never far from the expertise of Foundation Title. If you are purchasing a property, be sure to use New Jersey's number one title agency, Foundation Title. Follow them on social media and visit their website, foundationtitle.com today. Foundation Title, something to build on. You have a player still down on the field. It looks like it's Thomas. Johnson's Popcorn is known all over the Delaware Valley, specializing in a delicious caramel corn. They are open all year at 1368 Boardwalk in Ocean City. Phone 1-800-842-2676 or go online at johnsonspopcorn.com to place your order. Jop Johnson's Popcorn since 1940. Then none in the shotgun. Man in motion. Then a quick drop back. Quick throw. It is caught by number one, Liam Kennedy. 
It looks like another first down for Del Rand. Yeah, gets out of bounds, but. A lot of damage has already been done. Yeah, and a lot of time wasted. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I you can hear some of the fans out here is, what's your goal, to lose by three? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, at this point, they're down 10. It's 2.07 left to go. They're moving the ball, but Wayne Valley is perfectly comfortable with letting them move it and the clock keep running. Right. So here we go. It's first and 10. Namnun in the shotgun. Rush back there with him. Namnun drop back. Quick throw. It is caught by number 24, Denny Vitesi. Yeah, a couple yards on that. The only thing that, you know, happened good was he stopped the clock. So Del ran screaming to stop the clock, but again, yeah, I don't know how much you're worried about the clock with the plays you've been running and how long you've been taking a run. Yeah, there. I don't know. Now they're going to reset the clock again. But to be honest with you, it hasn't made much of a difference. Well, I don't know how much you're worried about seconds. the clock when it takes you, you know, three minutes to play. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so second and ten. Yeah, they've got to, yeah. Like you said, no sense of urgency, you know, out there. 2.04 left to go in this game. Down 10 is Del Rand with the football. Second and seven. Nam Nunn in the shotgun. Rush with him. Two receivers to the left of Nam Nunn. Man in motion. Here we go. Nam Nunn drops back. Throws it deep. And it is going to be caught. Taken away by number 21, Camille Yilmaz. Touchdown, Del Rand. And he gets oh, the... It's a flag. It's a Get flag. the flag for a celebration there. Well, I didn't see the celebration. I, I don't know what he did, you know. Nonetheless, still a big play. I don't know if they picked up the flag. No, they're going to give him a flag on that. It's a touchdown, nonetheless. Yeah. The biggest play made by Kilma Yilmaz today. Yeah. And you're going to see. On well, here's the replay. Yeah. Nam Nun, deep pass. Looked like they got away with a hold yeah. right here. And Yilmaz goes over Shuplin to make the catch. Great, great athletic great ability, you know. Great play we're by looking him. to see. We didn't think to see the celebration there, but. Yeah. Nonetheless. Extra point pending. It and could be a three-point game. you know what? It, that's a big call in a way because it takes you, uh, you know, they're going to have to make it from the 25, 35 yards, you know, out. And they miss it, then they're down by four. Here's the kick is up. And, and it looks blocked. like it's blocked. So again, now it's a four-point game. So here we go. We're trying to look back at where the penalty was called on the celebration. Yilmaz is there. I don't see anything. I mean, did he look back at him and taunt him? I mean, is that what the call hey, is? He may have said something, you know. It's I a weak know. call. It's a weak call. Yeah. Uh, it's a weak call. I mean, the kid's not throwing the football at him. He's not dancing. No. He's kind of just looking at the yeah. kid. It's a weak you call. Got, you got to just look the other way on that one yeah. and let him slide. Yeah. Okay. So, 17-13, Wayne Valley. So, 155 uh, left. Yeah. So, we can expect a, uh, you know, an onside kick here. Well, you would hope. I mean, Del Rand doesn't have the timeouts nor the defense to really slow down Wayne Valley at this point. No. So, uh. Again, Shoppies is even better online. You may know their showroom at 1031 Shore Road in Linwood, but you can order whatever you need at Shoppie.com. Remember, you are not presenting the best trophy if it's not a Shoppie trophy. Phone 609-653-1684. Shoppies since 1921. Starting a new century. So here we go. 17-13. You can expect a no onside kick from Del Rand. You would hope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would, you would hope. Ethan Smith is the kicker for Del Rand. And you got your all hands team up there. Yeah. So here we go. Onside kick. 
Ball is right to Kindler, who downs it immediately. Yeah, uh, that was it couldn't have been uh, any better for yeah. him, you know, to get that down there. So it looks like it could be victory formation yeah. for Wayne Valley. And then we got next up the Tom's River North versus Washington Township. As we continue battle at the beach here in Ocean City. Uh, this has by far been the best game of the showcase. Yeah. And that's easy to say with the uh, margin of victory being so close yeah. right now if the score stays the same. Uh, here we go. Shuplin and shotgun. Takes it. QB power all the way. And gets about seven or eight on first you can, down. You can see him wrapping both hands around the ball saying, guys, you can try your best, but you're not going to get me to fumble on this. Alex Shuplin has by far been the player of the game oh, today. Ab absolutely. For Wayne Valley. Absolutely. So it looks like we got a timeout here. Sure, True Value Hardware in Summers Point hopes that you will continue to buy, shop locally. They offer friendly service and expert advice. At Sure Hardware's, they'll do anything to help. They are open weekdays until 7, Saturdays until 6, and Sundays until 4. Help is just around the corner at Sure True Value Hardware, 515 New Road in Summers Point. Phone 609-927-6464. Or visit them online at surehardware.com. So here we go. Second and four. 143 left to go in this game. Looks like the backup quarterback is in for Wayne Valley Costa. You're going to expect some QB power here. And that's exactly what happens. Get some tough yards, close to a first down, but I think he's short. Yeah, a little bit short there. Not that he's worried about that. As the clock continues to run. Third and two. Third and two. Yeah, and uh, they're down. They don't have any timeouts left. So it's looking more and more like this will be as Shoop line checks back in. Looking more like a Wayne Valley victory. Yeah. Hey, it took a long ride to get down here, so they'll have a good ride home. <laughs> unless they check out the boardwalk for a while. <laughs> Again, you look at this game from Del Rant's aspect. Your defense kept you in it the whole game. But offensively, you have to make more explosive plays to have a chance against, against an offense like Wayne Valley. All right, so we do have a timeout here by Wayne Valley. Calvary Electric. Winning teams know that the key to success is getting the job run right the first time. For over 100 years, Calvary Electric has applied that philosophy to their business to offer an unparalleled level of electrical expertise and service to every single customer. Now you can bring Calvary's expertise into your home for your electrical problems or improvements. And they can install solar panels that will save you money. Make Calvary Electric a part of your winning team. Call 609-345-0151 or visit calvaryelectric.com. 54 seconds remaining in this game. Wayne Valley leads 17-13 here at Battle at the Beach. As this game has been the closest of the showcase so far. Yeah, absolutely. Shoopline is in shotgun. Danny Smith is back there with him. Pistol formation, third and two. Straight QB power, and it looks like Shoopline will put this game away. Yeah. Yeah, they're waiting for the call there, but where they marked it, looks like a first down to me. Nope. Down. Wow, they marked them short. Right. I don't know if they're going to have to run another play or not. We'll see if uh, we the see clock the back to run. Yeah, the clock continues to run. I doubt that they'll have to run another play. It's fourth and one. As Del Rand is out of timeouts. Clock is running. 
There's a flag. What's the flag? Offsides. Yeah. Offsides. On the defense. And that will essentially do it. Yeah. That's it. For the Wayne Valley Indians will win this game. Yeah. Take a ride down from North Jersey. 17-13 is your final here. Battle at the beach. Wayne Valley defeats Del Rand. Well, you want to talk about the player you played, talked about all uh, game long here? Yeah, Alex Shupline is definitely our player of the game. A big touchdown pass after his team was only up three after a big drive by Del Rand. Then in the first half quarter, a touchdown rush and really just controlled the game all game long. Again, the senior quarterback, the captain for the Wayne Valley Indians. And the thing Alex was, Shuflin. Del Rand made that touchdown, all right, and thought they were going to get right back in it. But the Valley comes back. Wayne Valley comes back just like that. Snap your fingers, call in your man. Well, you give credit to Shuplin. He threw the pick. Yeah. That led to the touchdown for Del Rand. Right. And he stayed composed, made sure that he kept his team composed as well. Let him down the field, and next thing you know, it's 17 7, and the game's pretty much over for them. Right. So now, next game uh, coming up here is going to be Tom's River North against Washington Township. That'll be a good one. There you go. Deshaun, good doing the game with you again, having fun, doing what we love to do, watching sports. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be go. it for us.